How's it going guys? It is Zach with Utah and Bot and Gone and yesterday I sold this vacuum on eBay for $360. I had a few people that reached out to me on Instagram asking to make a video on how I package something this large and it goes with everything. I mean, it takes a little bit more time to package something, but with a return of, you know, I paid $40 for this and it sold for $360 it's worth the time to take to wrap it up. So um, you're only gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a large box. You're gonna need some packing paper. You're gonna need some tape and some bubble wrap. That's it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything down as small as I can get it, bubble wrap it, put it in the box and fill it up. But um, first, let me get everything bubble wrapped. And uh, yeah, but also keep in mind, this goes with anything. I've sold TVs, I've sold other vacuums, I've sold, I've, I've sold regular vacuums that are tall that don't come apart. Um, Kirby vacuums and I just combine boxes. It takes a little more time. I wouldn't be scared about it. Just if you're gonna make some good money on it, it's worth the time. This will probably take me about 30 minutes, but I sold it for $360. Like that's insane, right? So I wanna get this all broken down and then uh, I'll show you before I put it in the box what we're gonna look at. Okay. I got everything padded up. Um, I didn't go crazy with the padding. I just wanted to, to uh, not rattle around. And if you bubble wrap everything, it won't rattle around. It won't sound like it was you know poorly packaged when it you know arrives to the buyer. I didn't package these because they you know I mean I'll use this just to kind of secure the items. Like I'm gonna wrap it around this so that way it'll protect it a little bit more because this is not gonna get damaged in transit. Uh, but everything else is in bubble wrap. And then with this, this is how you'll make sure that. Um, nothing will get damaged as well as not move around. So I'm gonna pad like probably the bottom of the box um, just to secure this. I didn't bubble wrap the bottom um, because it's bulky, right? Like some of the bulkier items, I don't wrap in bubble wrap. I just pad the crap out of it so it doesn't move around. And it usually does pretty good for me. So let's throw it in the box. Okay, like I said, pad the bottom. Okay. Now, let's move this over here. So with this, we're gonna put this down. This will give extra padding for the for the main the main part of the vacuum. These pieces are still plastic and they could possibly crack. So if you could make sure they don't get um, too much weight on that. They got that in there. The other main part, this wire does not detach, so this will go in. Hopefully this will be a little more snug. Okay, so like pretty much half the box is filled, so we want to put a little more padding in there. Okay, throw this in. Add some extra padding on the sides. Get this one in. Okay, one more padding. Okay, we're gonna throw some more of this stuff in. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. I'm telling you, just make sure it doesn't move around. All right, before I button it all up, I want to show you guys real quick. You can see I have a couple inches I can work with that I can cut it down. This will help me save probably like two bucks if I do it like this um, because UPS charges 
by the length, width, and height. So if I could lower the height a little bit, it'll save you a couple bucks. So I'm gonna pad it just a tiny bit more and I'll show you how I score it here in a second. All right guys, so how I score it, I cut the corners. So wherever I can get the, the lowest down, this is about an inch and a half, inch and a half. And a half okay cut those corners then you can see put some light pressure on it go straight across there are tools that you can buy that make this easier I just have not bought it yet because this is easier for me okay that's it push it down like so. And that just saved me a couple bucks and it made it a little bit tighter for the, for the item. Okay, I'm gonna tape that down. Okay, it's all put together. You can see I taped all the ends where I score just so it doesn't break apart in transit um, and put a bunch of tape on it because I don't want it coming apart. Let's bring it over to the scale. Uh, so 39 pounds. Let's measure it real quick. So we got 20, 27, 22, and 14. 27, 22, and 14. 22, and and 14, totally forgot the weight. I'm pretty sure it was 39, but let's go double check. Okay, so it's going to California. Priority mail is 56. We got UPS, that's 29, and FedEx, that's 30. UPS it is, 29, 36. I probably will put insurance on this because it's such an expensive item. And that's down here. Required signature, add additional liability coverage, $4.60. Just, just because it'd be safer that way. And then purchase shipping label, 3396 to ship that out. So I'll run the numbers on the exact profit um, on the screen so you guys know at the end. But that's it, I'm gonna slap a label on it. But here's the here's the, to the total profit I made on this item. So $360, you know, I'll put the numbers on the screen, I have to do all the math, but they'll be up so you guys can see the exact profit of such a bulky item. There's money to be made, guys, I'm telling you. Um, Again, I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.